Revelations chapter 12 verse 11 And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. All right, and uh, this lesson, uh, maybe the title will be The Elect Overcame him by the blood of the lamb all right and how is the elect going to overcome as it says by the blood of the lamb which is Yahweh Shai, and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto death all right so through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the lord's elect is going to be delivered okay they're going to be delivered and um i wanted to go into this uh, Revelations 12 and read a few verses which is, I want to start at verse 7 because one way that uh, the elect is going to be delivered is uh, through this great deliverance that the Heavenly Father is going to send his son okay to 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 recover the remnant of his people starting with the elect okay and this is going to be something that was never seen on the earth and it's going to buy, it's going to be in a way of war all right bloodshed straight up destruction you know you know no movie could uh no no, no movie could top this movie in which the lord is going to play out in our uh reality all right so this is prophecy so this is revelations chapter 12 and 7 and there was war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels so now it says let me read it again and there was war in heaven all right because why Yahweh Shai is coming from above just the same way as he left the same way as he coming back all right it says and there was war in heaven you know and since I said that let me get a quick precept all right so I'm gonna come back this is uh Acts chapter one and uh verse 10 all right because the same way that the lord left is the same way he's coming back so it says acts 1 and 10 and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same yahweh shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven then return they unto jerusalem all right so the point is is in verse 11 he says which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same yahweh shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven uh, another precept that come in mind is uh revelations 2 and 7 it says um uh, Revelation 1 and 7, excuse me. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are mun. So how is they going to see the Lord when he come? Because he's going to come back with a a, a, a fleet, a army, all right, of chariots, man, covering the heavens, all right, covering the heavens. And what is his attitude? It's to take down the king's to take down the powers that be all right starting with esau edom all right <clears throat> so let me um go back to the book of revelations chapter 12 and verse 7 it says and there was war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels now it says michael and his angels fought against the dragon so what is the dragon all right, when you go back up here to the third verse, Revelations 12 and 3, it says, And there appeared another wand in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. All right, so when you get into the breakdown here, you know this great red dragon, all right, it goes back to what? The pagan Roman Empire, all right? Really started with the Greeks, but 
they became that, you know, that that dragon when they was the Roman Empire. And uh, even back then, even back then, they had allies. You know, they 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 teamed themselves up with other other powerful other powerful armies or lands. All right, to become strong. And I did a little digging on my computer here. I typed in the Roman Empire alliances. You know, like who was they alliance with? And a few names popped up. Well, there's a dozen names that pop up. But uh, I'm going to read a few. It says the Spanish-Roman alliance, the Otto-Roman alliance, Central Europe alliance, Pact of Eternal Assistance. It says the Seleucus Pact, the Berlin Convention, the Quad Defense Alliance, the Quad Defense Alliance, Scottish Roman Alliance, the Flavian Pact of Friendship, the Freedom Alliance. All right. Um, you know, and they give you briefly, you know, what time, well, what, what alliance it was. And I ain't going to read all this. Maybe uh, I'm going to put it in a post production uh, as a picture, you know. But um, let's go back to it. It says, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head when it gets into these seven heads all right and and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads is going into the alliance that they had back then which was what the french spain greek rome jeremiah major jeremiah minor and uh great britain all right that's your seven heads let me let me say it again french spain Greeks, Rome, Jeremiah Mena, Jeremiah Minor, Great Britain, all right? And then you had the Ten Horns. Now, the Ten Horns was established through the uh, European common markets. I believe also it was called the European Economic Community. And uh, now today, they're calling themselves what? NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, all right? And um, you have 27 members of NATO today. This is how they ban themselves as one body to be that red dragon. And who and who what nationality are they? Edomites, man. Edom. So it says, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. Alright, so you know, also too, for the sake of the breakdown, you know that in the very next two verses. You know, I ain't going to get all into it because it's precepts in here. Um, a lot of precepts to get the understanding that this great red dragon, you know, is going into Herod. All right. When Herod was set up. OK, he, he wanted to kill Yahweh Shai before Yahweh Shai was born. He wanted to upset the prophecy. So Esau ain't ain't new and striving to upset the Lord's prophecy with his people, you know. So anyway, let's go back. This is Revelations chapter 12 and 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. So this is prophecy, all right, written from uh, John the Revelator. He saw the visions. This is a revelation of the future, all right, which we prophesize of, which is the word of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is the Bible, man. This is the future, all right, destruction that's going to happen towards you Edomites in this kingdom. Okay, it says, and the great red dragon was ca the great red dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil all right which is mean deceiver liar and satan satan means adversary which deceived the whole world how did he deceive the whole world he deceived the whole world by his miracles and the ways of his technology he deceived the whole world in deception he deceived the whole world in lies and and um uh false education all right mainly through what witchcraft all right, which deceived the whole world. Oh, gotta say, Cesare Borgia, 
you know, the the um, the picture that they painted, the abominable picture they painted of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, being a so-called white man. All right. You know, that that was deception. It says he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. All right. Now it says verse 10. And I heard a loud voice from heaven and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. All right. So this is music, man. All right. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to uh, cast down these devils and take them out of power. And it says the accuser of our brethren. The accuser, he's the, he is the accuser of our brethren, is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And how do he do that? Let me get a quick precept, you know, just to prove what he does, because what he does is he set traps and catch men. You know, he's the one that that put guns and drugs into your neighborhoods. All right. He set up these this system. To basically destroy us, to keep us uh, on the bottom. All right, he makes sure that 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 we're never a competitor in his society. You know, that we'll always be the poor. You know, basically uh, less than a man. All right, even he puts out, um, you know, this uh, this ideology in which uh, Jake swallow up. You know, this false perception of how you supposed to live your life you know he is the accuser of our brethren day and night and he accuses uh the, he accuses us to our father as if you know we're not right but he is uh furthering our affliction you know he's furthering our affliction he's keeping us destroyed by his uh crafty ways man so let me uh get a quick precept and i'll come back you know what's in the old uh, I believe is uh, Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2, okay, 15, it says, woe unto him that giveth his neighbor's drink, and putteth thou bottle to him, and maketh him drunken, also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness, see, and that's what Esau do, alright, he giveth his neighbor drink, that put up the bottle to him. Here you, you're getting Jake drunk on witchcraft. You know, you're stopping them from learning their truth. You're not letting us be who we truly are. And make of him drunk. That thou and make of him drunk also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. You know, when you look at um the entertainment world, you know, that rap music, you know. Man, Esau gotta go, man. Let's go back. Um Revelations 12 and uh, verse uh, 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed, Yahweh Shai. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. It says, verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. So how we, well, let me say, how did the hopeful elect overcome this devil? By the blood of the lamb, which is by Yahweh Shai. All right, through Yahweh Shai, you know, we can see salvation. So that's why we worship Yahweh Shai. All right, that's, that's the savior. All right, scriptures say, kiss the son, at least he be angry, man. Okay, you can't get to the most high. You can't get delivered. But through Yahweh Shai, man, we're more than conquerors through him that love us, as Apostle Paul said. All right. Which, you know, Apostle Paul, Apostle means sent out. Doesn't mean that uh, Paul was one of the 12. You know, you know, some of sometimes the uh, titles of Paul, they put the apostle there because he did work. You know, he his his whole mission was um was on his travels. He was sent out. So let me say Paul. For someone think that Paul was one of the twelve. Alright. So it says. And by the, by the word of their testimony. They love not their lives unto death. 
verse 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and that therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil was come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time all right so this it goes back into the breakdown and go back up here all right so but also too revelations 12 is uh also considered a prophecy as well because because um what esau is going to do is uh bring forth jacob's trouble all right he is that that sword of the lord that's going to bring forth jacob's trouble and as the scriptures say uh woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil all right he's that devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time and how is he going to do that he's going to do that by what by um martial law all right he's going to do that do that by creating this police state which we're we're going into which they're implementing right now all right you can't do nothing right now well you can but the way that things are being established you're going to have to have the jabby jab and that's just the beginning because eventually you're going to have to have the chip which is the mark of the beast but right now they're introducing these certificates and credentials of you uh, well basically you being certified and um eligible <laughs> you know uh to enter into a restaurant man or, or a movie theater you know you're gonna have to show your jabby jab credentials your card or even have it on your phone so this is the beginning man okay the next thing is gonna be you're gonna have to have a chip you're gonna have to be microchip you have to have that mark you know, scriptures say, um, if they not worship the image of the beast, they should be killed. And the image of the beast is the system. All right. Uh, verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast out of the earth, he persecuted the woman, which brought forth the man child, which this jumps back into the breakdown. All right. Going into Herod when he wanted to um, destroy Yahweh Shai. And matter of fact, I believe. Yeah, this goes back to when Herod. Uh, wanted to kill uh, the uh, the sons that were uh, the sons of Israel that was uh, two of age and under. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to do that, you know, uh, and hopefully I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the hopeful elect through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, as Paul said, we're conquerors through him that love us. And when, and when this prophecy happened, man, the Lord is the Heavenly Father is literally sending back Yahweh Shai, right? Uh, Michael and the angels under Yahweh Shai to basically fight for us, man, to fight for those of the whole four elect. He's not fighting for two thirds, he's fighting for the elect, even though two thirds, <laughs> well, even though, you know, the uh, two thirds will be good when they come back out as newborn babes in the kingdom, but it's really for the elect. That been sighing and crying for all the abominations in the midst thereof, man. You know, so this is music, man. And uh, Lord willing, as the uh, elder apostle to our coin this year, uh, hasten unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. So we're hasting and praying for a few days here, man, for this prophecy to be fulfilled. For we, for us to get to this, this moment, man, this moment, man. Whew. Hey, so with that, I want to say Shalom.